You're doing this in your office. Sure, why not? Well, I expected that maybe... Yeah, I don't know. What, an interrogation room? Well, you call me up on the phone and you insinuate that my girlfriend's husband got murdered right after I finished putting my fist through his chest. You were trying to save him. Please, take a seat. Besides, that's not what killed him. None of what I'm about to tell you has been made public. But given the family name involved, that's about to change, and quickly, too. Normally, I don't give this level of detail to someone who's romantically involved with my prime suspect, but not only do I know you, we're about to become family. And I just want to make sure that you have all the information you need to make wise decisions. That's the autopsy report of Kendra Harrington's recently deceased husband, Brett Collier. He froze to death. Yep, he did. Middle of the page. He had pulmonary edema, fluid in the lungs. Which means he lost the ability to breathe before he died. The reason he didn't get out of that cryo chamber is because he couldn't. He was paralyzed. Paralyzed how? We have yet to identify the neurotoxin. Somebody wanted to make it look like an accident. Somebody being Kendra. Nine times out of ten, it is the spouse. Sometimes it's the spouse's lover. But you didn't kill him, did you, Owen? Uh, no. And I am not her lover. I broke it off with her before it happened. Oh. Well, did you happen to give her a reason? I told her I didn't want to be with a married woman. Well, problem solved. <laughs>